So what are your thoughts on LeBron and him opening up a school? Dr. U. Umar Johnson, for those of you who know who Dr. Umar Johnson is, wanted to point out that LeBron James doesn't technically own the school that he started. Welcome to my opinion. Today's topic is, does LeBron James own the school in Akron, Ohio? Well, Dr. Umar Johnson put out a video that he went to Africa, and while he was in Africa, some people text messaged him or reached out to him to let him know that LeBron James opened up a school. So he was like, wow, did he? He said, so he went and looked it up. He said, is it a charter school or is it a public school? What is it? Because you can't technically own a public school. So he did his research and he found out that it was a public school. And he's saying that LeBron James, just like P. Diddy and all the rest of them, technically don't really own the schools. They, LeBron is just really the face and the name for the school because I guess the people reached out and I guess they wanted to know, so he pointed out to them, so he made it, put it, they put, put it out and let everybody know that LeBron technically doesn't own it. Now, Dr. Umar Johnson, to his credit, he wants to start a school for black kids or, and teach them real history, financing, and about things like starting um, trust funds and all kind of other things that most black people, especially low income people, don't know about and that the middle class to the upper rich teach their kids that we don't know and by the time if we're ever in that situation sometimes it's too late we've lost our fortune so that's one of the things he wants to teach and he wants to get that out there to a bunch of kids so he's been going around trying to get the school started now back to LeBron I had to do my own research because I want to know once I saw this video did LeBron own it and I wanted to fact check and I wanted to see so I looked into it, and it's not a charter school. It's actually a public school. And no, LeBron James does not own the school, technically. Well, and the reason why I said technically, because he went to the school system, the school board, and they worked out a joint venture. And in this joint venture, they wanted to make sure that what the kids were being taught was on par with the rest of the kids in the state. So they had there's things that the state has to have or the kids have to be taught to, to open up. So, because it is a public school. But LeBron, what he put in, because it's a joint venture, he made sure that the kids go from school from July to May. It's a longer school year. And that's what LeBron wanted. And the reason why he wanted that is because he felt like kids with idle time are gonna get themselves in trouble. So he wanted a longer school year. The school starts at 9 in the morning to 5 p.m. in the evening. Also, LeBron James, as he was growing up, um, him and his mom lived from couch to couch. Um, and there's a lot of things he didn't get to do, so it made life harder on him from bouncing from couch to couch. He said one of the things that saved him and helped him out as being a kid was his bike. And riding to school and got to get around and use that as transportation. So the kids that are approved to go to school, which... What they did was they invited a bunch of kids that qualified to come to the school. Uh, and um, if you, once you were invited, they gave, once you enrolled into the school, they gave you a bicycle. Plus, I, get, I think they give the kids computers. If you graduate from the school system, they will um, pay for your college at, I think it's a community college in Akron, Akron Ohio. Um, so they'll pay for that. Um, also, it's not just for kids. If you're a parent and your kids go there and you qualify, you can go back to school and get take night classes or I think they may have some day classes or something like that so you can get your GED. So it helps the parents out as well. So he wants to be uh, give a lot of people opportunities and stuff that are having a hard time making it out of their situation. So good for you, LeBron. So it goes back to... Is it LeBron's school? No, technically it's not. It's a public school. So Dr. Umar Johnson was right on that. But you can also look at it like, because LeBron and the school system are in um, a joint venture, LeBron is kicking up some of his money to pay for computers and, and colleges for the kids that go out. And LeBron also is the one that's wanted the school year to go longer. And he picked the hours too. So his team went in. So 
technically is not 100% LeBron, but he is in a joint venture, meaning he's part owner. He's kicking out money into this, and they recognize that. Um, so I don't think that you have to own the basketball team or write out on the football team to be called the owner. So LeBron probably doesn't own it all outright, technically, but he has a lot of say-so because he's a partner. So because he's a business partner in that, he is technically an owner. That's how I look at it. And I understand Dr. Umar Johnson wanted to kick out the truth of what it is. I don't know what relevance it has to know whether or not he technically owns it or not, or what Dr. Umar Johnson is getting his point is with pointing this out. I don't know. Um, but I think with his platform that some of the information that he does give out, I agree with. Some of it I don't. Sometimes I think it's misguided information. But for my viewers and the people that listen to some of the things I say, I got to the bottom of it. And technically, LeBron doesn't own the school outright. It's a public school, but he's a partner. So to me, with him kicking in his money, and anytime you're in a partnership and you got say so on what time the school starts, what time the school ends, when the school starts in the summer, and when it ends by the next summer, you got to be owner in it. So technically, he is an owner of the school that he helped get started. So yes, it's his school. But technically, he doesn't have 100% say so. So anyway, if you guys like this and you agree to it, please leave me a message down on bottom. Leave me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you're one of Dr. Umar Johnson's friends or followers that don't like what I said, I can handle it. Hey, speak your piece. And if you guys have a topic that you want me to do or something that you heard of, you want me to get about get to the bottom of, hit me up. Let me know. Till then, like, subscribe, and share. Share it with your friends. That way we can all grow together. Maybe this thing can become bigger and we can all have fun with debating. And, and I'll keep giving you my opinion, my real deal opinion on a lot of these good topics that I've been getting. So until next time, see you.